Hey y'all, so I'm going to show you how to do the um, setup for these charms I just made available to you all. This this charm, I'm going to start with this one because it has a little more, a few more pieces than the other ones. But you can follow this um, tutorial and it would explain how to do the others as well. It's just one more piece to this one. So that's why I'm going to show you with this font. So open it up, open the SVG up in your your cutter, whichever one you use, and you want to save. If you're in Cricut, you want to do these steps. Save and then click on the image and then insert. Let me do new because I was already messing with this. Replace it. So click on the image and then insert. Okay, when you bring it in, there's one lock layer so to use it you need to unlock it once you unlock it you will see that there are multiple multiple layers there's a, a red layer a black layer blue layer and then the yellow football layer so you're gonna figure out which letter you want to use and you'll have to click through these footballs to find the football that matches up with the letter that you want to use so if you click the first football I don't know I don't know why it does not put them in order the way you see it on the screen it's just once you convert it to SVG that's this is what happens so or it might be in the layer and while creating it while I'm thinking about it but anywho if just say for instance I click the first football and that is the V so let's use that so since we got it here let's duplicate that yellow football and move it over here and let's cut that yellow layer off we no longer need it so we know it was the V so we're gonna go grab a blue V click there and duplicate you do not need to unlock these layers leave them locked and just click over here in your layers panel on the letter or the image you want to use so we got that we could turn those blue layers off now let's get a black V and duplicate that then we can turn the black layer off and let's get a red you, should, you, you might need it or you may not but I'm going to explain that to you in a second so duplicate that So, turn that off. So now that we got all our pieces, let's arrange this into the front. First, let's put this one on. Send to the front. Send to the front. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so I can explain to you what I am doing. And send to the front. Well, you you can do it because if you want to size it, you want to make sure everything you size everything together. So layer everything on. Do 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 this step. Yes, do it. So while I layered everything on top of each other, you want to move this over here. And let's say you want to you want a two inch charm high, two inch in height. You want a two inch tall charm. You go on it click two over here on H and go ahead and get your sizing right now that way everything is selected at one time because if you size one piece and not the other you will throw everything off and your cuts will be wrong and you will be mad you wasted all your paper and stuff so size it while everything is on top of each other in the program so you size it first before you do any of your layer creating so I'm gonna go bigger than this so you can see what I'm doing but two inches is a good size you can go smaller if you want to so I'm gonna size it way up so you can see what I'm doing okay now 
The difference between these two is one has a um, pre-made bell and this one has no bell so you would have to add a bell. So if you're going to use, if you want to use the one that already has the pre-made bell, you do not need this one. You can cut it off. If you want to add your own bell, then you do not need this one. You can cut it off. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the one that has the bell already pre-made onto it. So for this, we need to duplicate and we need to horizontal flip it. Okay, um, let's say you're going to cut your shadow layer or your front back piece out of gold foil. Well, you can do you could do let's say you could do blue card stock you could do gold for you you could do glitter you can do whatever you want to do i'm just saying this for the video purposes so let's say you were cutting it out of gold for you i'm going to turn it yellow to represent gold for you you would then need to make a duplicate and you need to turn and I, for the sake of this video again I'm going to use black but you could use white cardstock you can use a colored cardstock you can use whatever you want to use if you use colored cardstock I haven't seen it in 110 pounds I'm not saying they don't have it I just haven't seen it but if you have to use a 85 pound 65 pound just know you're going to need more than six layers so black cardstock or white cardstock that is 110 pounds would be great so again with this this would be your layer so you would duplicate that six times that would be for your layers you can group this together and let's say for your V you want to make it silver again I'm just saying that for the video you can make yours whatever you want to make it and also if you do not want to use layers behind your V, you can attach it directly to the front of this um, gold foil piece. So if you have this piece is um, glitter, you can attach it directly to that. You do not have to um, make layers, but if you want to make layers to build it up, you can. So you would duplicate it. And then for this, I would make no more than four layers. You can You can make as many as you want to make but I would make no more than four. So we would turn this black and do four, make four. Okay, for your football, let's say you're gonna do it. If you did this gold and did this um, silver, let's say you were gonna do this in a brown foil. So let's make this brown just, just, be, just because you can make it whatever you wanna make it. But I'm just saying this for the video. So let's say you're going to make that in brown for you. And with this also, if you want to make layers, you can make layers. If you don't want to make layers, then don't make layers. It can attach right to the front of this as well. So you can have both of these on the front without any layers attached to them and it will be fine. But if you want layers, make layers. So same thing with the V. I would make no more than four me you can make what you want to make so now you can take all these for now let's do that first let's take these and group them group cut that off so now you can hit make and make sure you're using it's going to say this is big then that's because it is, but make sure you're using um, eight and a half by 11, 110 pound black or white cardstock if that's your preference. If you use color cardstock, you're gonna make sure it's eight and a half by 11, or if you can find 12 by 12, that'd be great too. But you can um, cut these out of, it will size it up the way it needs to be, or you can set it up yourself. Let me go back. So if I had all this laid out perfectly and then I selected and attached, 
so let me show you this you see how it just split everything up on the other screen and all um different mats so if i wanted to it to stay in the place i put it in because you would set you would set this up and lay it out correctly you wouldn't have it on top of each other like this unless you had you knew you had enough space to cut it out in so i would attach all that and then hit make and it would leave it right where i had it so after you get that cut out of your um black cardstock or white cardstock you'll come back and open click back on the group that you made and ungroup that you can group these oh they're already grouped so you can then turn off that v and turn off that football and hit make and load your mat with gold foil and cut these out of your gold foil and after that is done then you come at turn those off cut your v on hit make cut that out of your silver foil or whatever color you choose Cut that out, come back, cut your football on, hit make, and go cut that out of brown or whatever color you choose. If you choose a plain colored cardstock, which they sell that, you can use that in your um projects. You're going to want to Mod Podge it before you put any resin on it. Mod Podge the top of your plain colored cardstock. We don't Mod Podge glitter, and we don't Mod Podge foil. So now, after you had everything cut out, did what you had to do, and all your layers put together, you would glue all your layers to the back of where where they go. I would glue three here, three here, and then after and then after um the, they dried, then I would glue them together. After I did my resin, same thing what I said in the other video applies in this video as well. So after you had all your pieces cut and let's say all of these have their layers whatever layers you're going to put on them let's ungroup this and let's say we already had this one turned over to the back then you just apply you can mod podge this that already had this this v had layers if you want to use layers you mod podge it to that for a piece and then you my podge the football in place as well that is it guys i hope this helps i just noticed after previewing the video before publishing it that the red layer has some extra pieces that I didn't flatten down. See here. Let's cut it on. See here. So I need to fix those before I let's see if I can fix it here. yes so you if you're going to use stuff from the red layer just weld it first make sure you cut, cut everything off and when you first open this file make sure you go ahead and weld these together first everything for the red layer oh i had this one turned off so now let me go and weld okay so make sure you weld everything together for the red layer let me see no, don't do that. I'll fix it. I'll fix it in the um program before I upload this video. So when this, by the time this video uploads, everything will be fixed. So disregard that. 